Hello and welcome to Nagaland TV. This is Gargi Rekha and you are with me watching all the latest updates of afternoon. India on Saturday reported 42,766 daily new COVID-19 cases in last 24 hours. The daily positivity rate now stands at 2.19%, less than 3% for 19 days straight. The recovery rate stands at 97.20% as per latest reports. According to the data from the Union Health Ministry, the country's total tally has reached 3 crore 7,95,716. This is the fourth day in the last six days that the daily new cases are above 40,000 mark. The death count increased to 4,7,145 with 1,206 new fatalities. Moving on, amid the ongoing widespread of coronavirus, Kerala has been put on high alert after the Zika virus outbreak. The union government has rushed a team of experts to the state as at least 14 cases have been confirmed so far. According to medical experts, Zika is a viral infection and the symptoms are similar to dengue, including fever, skin rashes and joint pain. Additionally, infected people can transmit the virus sexually. Notably, the first case of the mosquito-borne disease in India was reported on July 8th when a 24-year-old pregnant woman was diagnosed with it. However, the government was waiting for confirmation from the National Institute of Virology at Pune. Moving ahead, According to a poll published by Morning Consult, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has lost the top position in a ranking of net approval rates. Among 13 world leaders, as per the poll, PM Modi's approval rating came down to 14%. As per the poll, PM Modi's approval rating came down to 14% since late March and 34% since a high in May 2020, pushing him to the second spot as of June 29. He lost the top spot to Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, whose approval ratings have increased by 13%. Hit by the disturbance caused by COVID pandemic, only 5 out of 13 world leaders saw their approval ratings rise between March and June. As reasons for the failure of India's COVID response are discussed in the country, critics have highlighted autocratic tendencies within the government which have claimed caused Problems in relation not only to the coronavirus, but in many areas of public life. Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Jairam Thakur on Friday appealed to the tourists arriving in the state to follow all COVID-19 protocols. The Chief Minister also underlined the fact that it is crucial to save the tourism industry through a virtual meeting that he held with district officials. The CM ordered them to monitor and regulate crowds, adding that the COVID-19 pandemic is not over yet. Pictures and videos that emerged on social media platforms showed gross violation of COVID-19 protocols in the hill station. Most people were seen without a mask and also defying physical distancing norms. Himachal Pradesh has so far reached 2,3245 cases and 3,486 deaths due to the COVID-19 disease till now. Vaccination in the state is currently suspended for beneficiaries between 18 to 45 years, which poses a risk of a massive spike in cases amid the overcrowding in tourist spots in the state. Moving on, it seems the Congress bras is miffed with the freewheeling twitting of Punjab MLA and senior leader Navjot Singh Sidhu in a recent times after a fallout with the Punjab CM captain Amrinder Singh. It may be worth mentioning that the former cricketer is leading dissent against the CM. The Congress High Command is marking 
making all possible efforts as it gears to settle the formula for the reorganization of state organization and government ahead of 2022 elections. Sources said CM's meeting with party chief Sonia Gandhi that took place a couple of days ago was positive as it capped by Singh making a public statement that he would abide by the implementation of the decision of the leadership. Sources also said that the party leadership had some reservations over Sindhu being projected as a face of ruling Congress in the elections to be held next year. As that Sindhu cannot be controlled in his methodologies and on off change that he involves in a key position. That is all for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV for more news and updates.